Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There Yay. we go. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Feels like a reunion or something. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. Let me get kind of set because we've I've been yeah. trying to get the lights. So we can All get these the technical difficulties. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, my gosh. I was like, I would look. Okay. Whoo. Is this okay? Because, <laughs> my gosh, I was like, there we go, right there. Boom. Okay. Because I mean, yeah. Oh my gosh. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yay. I mean, like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, victory lay on the way, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? More degrees to the thermometer, but we had to figure this thing out, boy. Facebook. I was, you know what I'm saying? Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Wonderful. Okay. So if we can, if we can, Carla. I just wanted to, um, I guess, share. I'm going to take a moment just to share to my page, if that's all right, and just take, like, 30 seconds. Can you can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you great, too. Okay, good. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Okay, good. We're just going to take a nice uh, patient silence here. We're just going to get getting everything going. This is, I'm so glad. I was like, I'm very patient. I don't know if you're that patient. <laughs> I'm pretty patient because I'm like, oh, it's okay, it's fine. We'll figure it out, <laughs> you know. Okay, great. So what we'll do, we can even change the after. We can just change the, the subject and everything. I'll just send over um, if you can. Can you make it uh, public? I think it is. So I can, so other people can share. Let me see right quick. I think I can. Do it. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna share one more. Just a few seconds. Then we can rock and roll. We can rock. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. How How are you doing today? While we're just getting up, you know, how you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. Okay. How was How was your day? Went too tough? Was it too much of a challenge? No, no. Today's my out of the office day, so that's right. Right, I was trying to make sure not to bother you too much early. I was like, I was about to do a, do the text early, and she was like, oh, well, you know, we had a certain, you know, appointment, and then just later on. So I said, okay, yeah, let me just just hold all my horses and wait and everything. So I'm, I'm really glad. Let's see if we can. Okay, here we go. And this is, this is, this is really good. I'm so glad to, I'm really, really glad for this, seriously. I'm just sharing. That's what I'm looking at. I'm just sharing. With my... Yeah, I'm just sharing. That's why I'm making those faces. So, okay. Okay. Let's see here. Make sure I share. Okay. Share it Okay, great. Okay. All right, you good, dear? Okay, wonderful. All right. It should it should be able to share. I think I shared it some. Okay. Okay, marvelous. All right. All right. So um <clears throat> thank you all. We're on uh Carla's Carla's Live. Uh for those that are just uh, joining in, it just took um just a few things to get things straightened out. We have straightened out. Uh, oh, is that your pop up? Okay, straightened out, so we're we're good to go now. Um, I'm so excited to have uh, uh, Dr. Carla McGee. Is that right, Carla? Yes. Okay, great. And and Carla, I just want to uh, first off say thank you for uh, taking this uh, special time. And the reason why I say special time, um, I really feel like I you have a, we have a good extension of time, right, together to be able to. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, just to really layer to the people more about myself, layer to the people as well, uh, just just more about you in the professional sense and as well, some of the things we got to share within transparency. I, I know for myself, I try to be a very, um, since it's public, being vulnerable and professional and, and you know, people know you from various circles um, and different different things like that. But I, I really desire this to be not just an interview, 
not just an interview to, you know, uh, asking just uh, bare bone questions and, and this, that, and then you're gone, poof, be gone. And then we, we collect another guest. But to really allow these to be real therapeutic for myself and others, uh, a session together uh, as we walk to the, I'll say, the ledge there of uh, just um, uh, vulnerability and transparency. Because I know for myself, this has really been a lot of transformative healing for myself and other professionals because we want to do better, but I desire for greatness, not as a, a inspirational talk for this moment of healing. And even there's some things that I uh, really try to deny myself for a full day without, without eating or drinking or just anything where I'll, I'll rest, I'll just meditate or even pray with, with people that just come on. And when I say pray, just have that time to understand what, what can we share together that's a very special, powerful moment of healing and just so many just different dimensions of uh, getting interconnected and just strength. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love what you said when we talked on the phone, and we're going to get more into that. But I, I chose you, and I wanted to make it public. Why did I choose uh, Dr. Carla? You know, one reason why I chose you, Dr. Ngi, because, you know, you, you had shared not only do you have extensive experience, and that's great, but just the presence on how you conduct or even wanted to share was, was fabulous. And I, and I speak to a lot of people. There was a few other people that I spoke with, but I was like, no, 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 no. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not good. And the reason why I say it's not good, it's not the certain flow that I desire to go into, not as a hotshot professional, like some people, they really want to, you know, really get what they're doing out there and everything where they have books or different materials. Mm -hmm. But you just really genuinely seem like, you know what, this is something I wanted to take part in. So if we can, let us just begin. Uh, I know even throughout the, I know from my life, the past 10 years has been really 12 and more, but very tumultuous, um, very tumultuous through marriage. Uh, I was previously married before. Mm -hmm. uh, went through a lot of things with loss, um, uh, destruction, K, uh, things within a lot of loss within houses or cars, a lot, of, a lot of loss, not trying to stay there. But I say that's why it's so special with speaking with you to transforming all the things I've went through to now bring into a, a holistic viewpoint and also to share in your gifts, your talents, your abilities. So if we can... Can we just begin by, I just want to start off by just just a, a short breathing exercise, just so we can get the wusa, kind of get the shake everything off, and really just come together. Because for me, this is very, very special, and I don't want to take it lightly, and I want this to be a, a very deep, penetrating, um, marinating moment, and I want to be very present in this moment, very very present. So this is special stuff. So let's just breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, deep breath. And breathe out. Breathe in, deep breath, deep breath. And breathe out. So we're just going to take a, a 30 seconds of silence. And I just want to share a, some, some powerful, just affirming things, connecting things of total strength, if that's okay. If that's okay. That's fine. Mm -hmm. This session is, is definitely for just healing and bread to our body, our mind, our soul, our spirit. Our, our total being. This isn't only just professionals coming together. This is, is David coming together. This is Carla coming to the, the atmosphere and connection, oneness, and just, just higher just vibrancy of joy, peace, tranquility, uh, love, and empathy, but also sharing the gifts and talents and just greatness that we both encompass that we're just coming to really spread that 
So we're going to share, it's going to multiply, it's going to build, it's going to not divide less, but just just multiply exponentially. And just such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience for this program for healing at full. No matter what the time may be, healing is always needed, but wholeness is going to come and we can continue or desire to go after our greatest life now moving totally. Okay, so I yield over to the floor to you, uh, Dr. Carla, if there's some things you want to share and we can just continue, but are there some words? Because I don't want to just take over, but you go ahead and share a few things if there's some things on your mind before we really get into the flow of flows with this. Yeah, um, so, well, first, I just want to thank you for inviting me to your show. Um, I know uh, just for people who are coming on from my um, my friend book, since it's on my page, um, that's yeah. I was invited to David's show for healing. Um, he's bringing on different therapists and healers. Uh, and um, we were having technical issues going on to his page, so that's why we're on my page. So um, if you want to see all the work that David Render has been doing, um, go to his page, Dr. David Render, um, and his show is called For Healing. So um, yeah, I uh, just want to, uh, first of all, say thank you to all the healers out there, all the therapists, all of the counselors, um, social workers, because uh, right now is a difficult time for everybody. Um, the impact of COVID has been devastating, and um, healers really have been called to the forefront to help people in need. Um, so that is, you know, I think that I just want to express gratitude to all the people that are helping those in need right now. Uh, One Go ahead, go ahead. Please go. Please, please. I'm sorry, I didn't want to jump the gun. No, Bang. I just that's, wanted... that's sort of my <laughs> kind of introductory uh, comments. Um, and I guess to introduce myself uh, for the purposes of your show, um, I am a dance movement therapist. That's where I started my career. Um, and I'm also, uh, I uh, graduated from the University of Toledo, and that's where I got my doctorate in counselor education and supervision. Uh, so, um, and I've been working in the field of mental health for about uh, 15, 16 years now. So. Wonderful, wonderful. So just within, in, in my background as well, just to put it out there, uh, I got more into television program hosting and production mm -hmm. uh, after the Air Force and the military. So we, I was a prior recruiter for the Air Force. So counseling, speaking with, with people about where they're going in their life, uh, other uh, professionals just wanting to do great things are coming into the military. That's kind of where it stemmed from uh, within navigation, uh, really caring about people's uh, processes, where they're going professionally, emotionally, psychologically, on the brink of big decisions, you know, military life years ago, and we're talking 2005. So when I refer back to the military, we're talking, to, so that was 15, 15 years ago. And I was a recruiter during uh, 2009 to 2010. So there were things with uh, holistic wellness that I was connected with, and it all kind of jammed to connect it together now. And then the whole television part, I really enjoy being in studio, or doing TV network shows to sit down with wonderful people like yourself. So we had to really mix blend it with a lot of education, a lot of uh, certifications, just things that was like, how do you, what is needed in this hour? Not how can I be successful more, but what's, what do the people um, really need? And surely with COVID-19, there was a lot of online studies, online learning with, with legal and law that connected more with television programming on the legal side, because it never hurts if you know some legal. And, um, you know, especially uh, we're out in California, we're on the West Coast. So it's really, it's really crazy. It's really like, you know, just you got to know what you're doing out here. So, you know, just connecting more 
in this way. And I've always been about healing and connection and empathy and being a, a man. And some would say a, a young brother, a young black man, that's not always um, maybe the norm to see within kind of more of a, a, a dominant man or strong man. So there's a lot of things in my life that really had to, I had to really process through and really be honest with myself to really champion where I want to go in life. So it's, it's really in my heart to sit down with great people like yourself. So I want to get, I want to jump straight into it. So you, you shared within getting your, when you, when you were getting your doctor, from let's say your PhD, you, you had shared that there were some barriers that you had to really just scale, just like, can I do this? And, Man, you know, what am I going to do? So is it okay if we can kind of go into that and and, and, and uh, open that up? Because I, I didn't expect for you. I'm glad you did, but I'm so glad you had jumped into that because that that's really what it's about. Because I don't want to be just a sh like a shining star, but really show that we're, we're personable people, but as well respect your profession and respect you as a professional woman. So please go ahead. Please, please. please. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh getting a doctorate is definitely challenging. Um, I, um, I'm really thankful though that I had a lot of really great mentors um, that helped me through it. Um, I really didn't think that I was gonna go into um, getting my PhD. That wasn't actually the plan originally. Um, after graduating from my master's program and um, working in Chicago and doing dance movement therapy and counseling, um, I really, didn't have it in my mind. I was just going to, you know, do private practice, which I'm doing now. And, um, you know, I, I really didn't think that that was something that I would pursue. Um, but what happened was uh, when, um, so I met my husband in Chicago and um, he ended up uh, taking a fellowship because he was trying to pursue his, or further his career. Um, and we ended up moving to Ohio. And because there's not a lot of portability with licensure um, in, from state to state, uh, it was very challenging for me to get the license in Ohio. And even though I'd already worked for 10 years in the field, um, the board said, well, work experience doesn't count because we need, like, we need you to have um, you know, certain uh, classes that you, know, you have to have followed the track in Ohio. So there was a couple classes that I had to go back and take um, that I wasn't required to take in Illinois. And right. um, so that was sort of where I got the idea in my head. Well, since I have to go back and, you know, pay this money to go back to school, what if, you know, I go and get my PhD? And, um, you know, I was like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm kind of not sure if I have the money. And, um, you know, it's probably going to be really hard. The master's thesis was already a big challenge. I have to write a dissertation. That's, I don't, that's like a book. <laughs> like, how am I going to write a book, you know? And mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, um, and, yeah. So, I, was, I was just going to say real quick on that. I do read theses and I do read and take the time you all, uh, and I, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I tried to look for you, and it did. I don't know if I looked in the wrong place, but I do take the time to really read because some, you know, people really download. I don't know if people know this, but yours and a few other uh, young ladies and different people. I mean, thousands of downloads of you all's work and hundreds of downloads to the work that you all did from college, even years ago. Hmm. So, even in my learning of just with life and uh, really imparting people's lives greater to see the work that you've done just even your name online because I really try to not just invite people for, for healing but when they're professionals like that really read the body of their work so when you said a book yeah some of the other ones they've had 300 pages 200 you might have had because I know you did your PhD and it was I have it I, I was reading it uh, from a year back but I, I, I was reading it I think it was like a hundred and I don't know if it was three hundred and something. You you had it you it's something you had it stacked and racked. I was like, wow, she is no joke. Cause I spent like probably 30 minutes like reading and just going through what you were what you how you had pieced everything together. 
And I was just so, I was impressed. I was impressed. And um, I was just like, because I'm going wrong, but I was just very impressed because even just, I, I know it took a lot of time, more than I even know time within that, but just it was very, a, a person can really learn a lot from the modalities and things that you put together and shared, even from the, I believe, few years ago when you when you had wrote that. Was that uh, 28, no, 2017? Yeah, 2017? yeah. 2017 yeah. was when I finished it. Yeah, I don't, I can't recall how many pages it was but yeah it was a lot it took me yeah to, to finish you, you put in you put in your time and then to see the your variables of the case the studies and the case studies of your numbers that you put together for the different <laughs> groups and everything like i read stuff i read that i looked and i was like my gosh I said, Boy, she really put in some work but not just say she only put in work but i i learned a lot from already reading it because i i really it's some real serious things that, you know, people know, you know, you didn't do all that for no reason and just said, oh, what's well, there, you know, and, you know, it's in the, the archives, <laughs> but people can really, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, well, uh, Queen, she's like, oh, yeah, you know, here it is, read this and this one, because I didn't see the master's, but I did see the the PhD one, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was, that, that was uh, able to download and read, because I downloaded, I didn't just read it to skim. I really read through it. And so when you, you were sharing like within dance movement therapy, what, what does, do you view yourself as like something like, like a dancer or able to move or able to, you really wanted to integrate that with the people, but just how does that, how does that feel the birthing of that in the years now, like integrating that, is it the same or has it changed inside of you or, you're getting better with more rhythm or, or, or even better, or you know what I mean? Like, go ahead. Well, um, I mean, movement um, and dance, like, has always been, uh, like, a, a passion of mine. Um, I mean, I was a trained dancer. That's how I um, kind of moved into dance movement therapy. Really? Um, yeah, so I danced since I was young, and then um, when I finished uh, – undergrad so my BA and everything I um was still kind of in this space of like wondering what I wanted for my career because I still really didn't know I had had a dance yeah. major and then I also was doing communications broadcasting because I thought that at one point I thought I wanted to do like journalism um yeah wasn't quite what I wanted so um I had heard from this guest speaker that we had in our college who um, was studying dance movement therapy. And it was the first time I ever heard of it. And it made so much sense to me to use movement as a healing tool for mental health. Uh, and it made sense to me because for me, moving in my life was so healing. It was an outlet mm. for me. It was a place where I could express myself. Um, I was a really quiet um, kid. So, and I really, you know, was like, you know, an internal processor. So I really kept things to myself and movement mm -hmm. kind of come out like of my shell, as they say. And, uh, you know, just, um, it just was really healing and it was empowering. And so when I learned about dance movement therapy, I, it just, I was like, yes, this is what I want to do. And so that's when I embarked on that journey of, um, studying dance movement therapy. Um, but back to your question, as far as if it's changed, um, I mean, I would say that, you know, I'm always learning more as a therapist, uh, you know, from my clients. I mean, I would say that I learned probably the most from my clients uh, because, you know, they're, um, you know, you're really doing the work then. Um, and so, um, so over time, um, I think that I've just, it's just really, um, I guess, resonated more and more, just how much uh, the body holds things, like how much, you know, the way we move is a metaphor for the way we move through life, as I was always told wow. by teachers yeah. in, uh, at Columbia. And so, um, so yeah, just... Uh, uh, I just keep learning and, and um, trying to be open-minded and, uh, you know, um, all of that, so. 
So you, and I'm glad you, I was just rewriting that when you put how we, how we move in life is kind of like how we live our life. Yeah, metaphorically speaking, uh, when we yes. are, yeah, when we're like the way we hold ourselves, the way we carry ourselves, I mean, you know, the body and body language is our first line of communication. You know, we see how what's happening for someone just when we look at how they're moving, how they're expressing themselves, um, wow. all of that. Yeah, and, and you know, it's okay. So, no, that's good because I was just keep, keep just just keep going, keep going with that. Like, get, give a few because the, my mind is like over a thousand, uh, you know, ideas and different, you know, pictures have, have came out of that. Um, but just give a give some give some examples if you can of just what we would maybe see with um, different people's lives with maybe how they move and probably or what you know to be true with how even though you used it metaphorically, what you've seen. And I believe there's there's truth in that, you know, uh, when I reflect on my own life. But, um, yeah, so go, can you give a few more examples of maybe uh, a, a little bit more concrete of how people move in, in addition to how they, how they live their life or move in life? Mm -hmm. Or how you see that, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, it's, I mean... There isn't, I, I can't say that like, you know, if someone moves away, it specifically me, means this specific thing or anything like that. Cause it's, you know, it, it's unique to every person. Um, yeah. can, like I can give some examples of uh, like in my work with clients, how, um, you know, uh, their body has adapted to their life experiences. Um, so for example, uh, I do work with a lot of, trauma clients so clients who've had a lot of trauma in their lives uh whether that be you know in childhood or um you know just in other experiences as they got older um but um some examples are um you know i have clients who've had uh like sexual trauma and um you know they have um you know have issues with like um emotional eating and like, you know, um, even like carrying weight as a form of protection and how like mm. the body like, um, takes to that, um, and how, um, you know, how everything's really connected, like how, you know, their anxiety about, you know, cause trauma, you know, leaves people anxious in their lives like they you know people who have PTSD struggle with anxiety and so you know um there's multiple things happening at the same time so they're they're experiencing anxiety in life you know their their brain is sort of hijacked into um like uh fight or flight response um even when they're not in danger and so mm -hmm. you know you see that in like their their body language Sometimes when they're around people, like they might be um, really more guarded on a body level. And um, uh, back to what I was saying before with um, like some of the defense mechanisms, like where you um, or where they kind of um, just feel like if I if I if I lose weight, like that's a trigger like for anxiety, because if I lose weight, then that means that um, I'm not safe. Like so there's there's been connections like that that I've seen so that's that's one example um of how you know we see those layers of like how the body plays into um trauma and uh you know um those kinds of things so yeah um so so within that like are, do some people already just um uh come to you to say hey I know I have these problems or issues or things that's going on with me and they became voluntary or do, do have some of the clients kind of came more involuntary or maybe referred uh, from some other agency or organization mm -hmm. uh, to you for uh, help or counsel? Yeah, it's a mix of both. Um, I mean, I've worked in several different types of facilities over the years. Um, I've worked 
in community mental health. I've also worked in substance abuse. And in substance abuse facilities, you often see man, more mandated clients, so clients who mm. are go coming in voluntarily um, because they've been mandated by the courts. Um, and, you know, community mental health is a mix of, you know, you, you get some of those mandated clients, but you also get, uh, you know, clients who voluntarily, you know, want to come in and get help and um, take charge of their mental health. Um, now I work in private practice. Um, and in private practice, you, you primarily see people who are voluntarily coming in. Um, and, uh, you know, we do uh, the place where I work now, uh, we see referrals from their primary care physicians and, um, and then also people just calling in um, seeking, seeking care. You know, so implementing, like you said, so you, so when you get to not just uh, only maybe sitting in your office or uh, sitting with the client across, you know, from your desk or kind of maybe there's no barrier in, in between you two. Maybe you may kind of, you know, move that out of the way and able to kind of speak more with them. But is there, when you're able to bring them in the element of dance movement, you know, which I, I believe that's like you said, you're you're you really really desire. You can't really do it now with COVID nineteen. It's kind of I believe you were sharing uh, on phone. It's more, to, you know, on the phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Telecommunication mm -hmm. or or digital. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. so with that, I know you said there was a a, a barrier in having to be strong. We're gonna get into the being strong part, but um, just having that, you're not able to really get to the movement with them how how is that like you said that's been quite a uh, um, a mountain to scale or kind of hill that you have to scale to kind of mm -hmm. get over for for um what was it since march yeah march. Or, or february therapists primarily moved to telehealth okay. um so all online therapy um which yeah it, it's definitely a challenge uh i think that a lot of therapists when it happened were um, a little bit panicked <laughs> because yeah you know we're used to seeing people in person um, I mean there has been a movement uh, with telehealth over the years um, there's a couple different platforms that do online therapy but um, you know all of us therapists who had been you know seeing people in person it was kind of like a big deal like to to change and go into this other format, especially if you're a dance movement therapist um, or someone who does EMDR um, or, you know, uh, even, you know, maybe even a music therapist or art therapist. It's like, mm -hmm. what am I going to do? How am I going to do this stuff on the computer? Because it's very different than when you're in person. Um, and there's also, you know, different barriers like I can only see my clients from here up I can't see their whole body so I can't right. I'm not able to see all the body language that's happening um, and also like the energy of the room I can't like I don't have that you know um, extra like sense of like feeling that the other person's energy because I'm you know they're in their home and I'm in you know my office and we're, we have a screen in, in between us. And so, so those kinds of things were, were all very challenging. And I know that they were challenging for many therapists. Um, so, uh, you know, but, you know, at the same time, you know, we were also grateful that we could still continue to help people and, um, you know, uh, do what we could. And it's adaptable. Like there are still things that I can do, like, somatic based interventions that I can do with people um, it just looks a little different than when like what like like, like what like, um, like what so we're I'm, I'm, I'm the client I'm the client and um, I'm Joe Johnny uh, I, I'm messed up or I could be Dr. Render I'm messed up <laughs> <laughs> so I'm okay I'm like all right I don't know I'm, I'm Going through situations, Dr. Carla, help me. Somatic, what can we do? I mean, I'm at home. 
but what would you, how can we do this? What do I need to do, Don? Yeah, well, it would depend on, you know, what the problems were that you were having. Like, you know, if it was anxiety, um, we could do some relaxation-based, uh, body-based training, um, you know, which a lot of times is breathing work, doing breathing work. Um, also, um, I do a lot of um, meditative experiences with clients. And what I do, since we're not able to move in, like, you know, in the room like we would in person, I have them visualize yeah. themselves moving and, like, seeing themselves um, and, you know, um, uh, seeing kind of visualizing like either how they would want to be moving um, uh, to kind of help like bring like more um, kind of like empowering images to self of like, you know, especially people who uh, have like mobility issues or pain um, where mm. limited, like, you know, kind of activate those, those parts of the brain that, um, you know, uh, help people like feel more, more hopeful and that can promote promote more healing and so I'll have them do visualization exercises like that um, or we'll just you know simply just have them breathe and be in their body like notice their body parts what are their body parts feeling like you know again posture how are you holding yourself today um, and what does that mean to you uh, so Ooh. you know just those are some basic things that, that, you know, we do, uh, when we are trying to bring in like somatic based therapy, dance movement therapy into telehealth. So, and I, and I love, I love, 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 love. I love how you shared, you know, when, when you said, how are your body parts feeling, you know, um, just kind of, and, and would this be more, if somebody were having, like you said, mobility problems, like, um, uh, somebody was going through like rehab, like body move therapy, if they're, they broke their leg or maybe someone that was in a wheelchair or wheelchair bound, or they were trying to get their, uh, movement back with this kind of those, those therapies, well, what you would do or. Same as like physical therapy because dance movement therapists aren't physical therapists. Like we're just working with people on a body level to help with their mental health. So um, when I say okay. same mobility issues, what I'm referring to is, um, cause you know, as therapists, we do see people, you know, who, I mean, the body mind can, is connected. And so, um, you know, when you're having stress, sometimes you're, um, you know, also feeling pain on a body level. And sometimes, you know, people, um, you know, uh, it even like you know if you're depressed like that shows up body as well where more issues uh that are either painful or causing limitations in mobility show up um and then you because you're depressed or anxious sometimes your symptoms are exaggerated and so we want to uh intervene um by helping them like you know do things to decrease the anxiety because that also will help with their pain. Um, yeah. You know, and also just give them what I was saying before was give them a sense of hope. Cause when you have hope too, that also promotes healing because you you're in a more positive space in yourself, um, which we know when you're in a more positive space, people tend to heal faster or they tend to, you know, just feel better in general. Cause you're, you're not focused so much on what hurts or, you know, you, um, your body reacts to the positivity that you're generating. Um, yeah. Wow. You, you know, would you honestly, like, once you learn these different modes of healing and healing arts and dance therapy, how, how much has this really helped your, your mind and your process of life really just benefit from what you've learned, like, you know, how much, uh, that not be exact, but I mean, that you've really taken on that has been real in your life. Well, uh, I mean, I guess the way that I can respond to that is just by saying that, you know, I've always believed in, you know, that we can use our 
body is a healing resource. Um, like I was saying earlier, when I was talking about uh, my um, journey of becoming a dance movement therapist and how powerful moving was for me, um, you know, it, that is what drew me into this field. And so, you know, um, we're, I, I feel like, you know, we're moving towards more hol holistic uh, ways of um, treating people as a society, which is good. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we can't just look at one thing, like we can't just look at what, um, you know, what we're thinking and just our thoughts, like th those are all important because the way we think does influence, you know, um, our mental health. And, you know, if we change our thoughts, we can change our life. Um, that's uh, a Wayne Dyer thing, if, if anybody has seen him, but it's all true. Um, and so, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Um, Bless you. So, um, yeah, so we have to look at everything. We have to look at the body. We have to look at the mind. Um, you, your show is all about mind, body, spirit, you know, and that's our connection to ourself, our inner wisdom. So we have to look at everything. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, it would be helpful um, also just if we, and, and I think this is starting to happen, if we really work together, like cross collaboration uh, across fields, like, you know, medical professionals with, you know, um, psychotherapists and, you know, um, acupuncturists, naturopaths, all everybody working together because everybody has a piece of the puzzle. And yeah. if we come together and, you know, that, that really helps, you know, our clients at the end of the day. So. Yeah. yeah the one thing I love, like dance movement therapy that, one, that I've seen where, in one in one space, ignorantly, and when I say a lack of knowledge about dance movement therapy, I was like, wow, you know, I, I'm just like, man, that is just so cool. But I know I enjoy dancing. So when me and my wife, we me and Queen, I'm already I'm already animated and moving. But I know dealing with, I'd say, healing is a gift. Healing if if you have the the, the, the people, the the mode or the empathy or love and care to connect, we immediately began moving and connecting. And then when you bring off certain hand motions, gestures, even if you're flipping, you know, I'm very, you know, Queen, she used to be in gymnastics years ago um, and um, done wonderful things. And I'm very gymnastically inclined with flipping and back flipping and, and all this front flipping and all this kind of thing. But really, I love how when I met Queen and started, she started uh, opening the world up of that. Uh, not saying I'll be a dance movement therapist, but I know there's healing in movement, even for people to watch. You know, just watch people in movement or in, in, a, in a strong uh, mode that also helping connect. Uh, connect is with music. You know, with music mm -hmm. and oh, definitely. you know in a in a powerful life-changing way. I mean, you can move people emotionally to tears, you know, just by the, 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 the maybe woodwinds or flutes and things like that. And mm -hmm. more of a slower, more, or, or high pitch melodic, nice, playful, you know, there's a lot of things with classical music. I listen to classical music and, um, you know, it's, a, it's really wonderful to, 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 even I find myself moving through that, moving through the house and, throughout the, when we were in Chicago now in LA and everything, just moving with the music and, and connecting, well, emotions are connected with music and also uh, memories and things we've been through. So, um, you know, just those kind of things that I, I, I reflect on and even with, with like you were sharing, um, when you spoke about, and I was writing down quite a few notes, but uh, how we move in life, you know, when you use that metaphor, but you know, I take that as, as, as truth there for my life. Mm -hmm. I embody and I would move like how I really was moving in life. And I had to reflect on the kind of statements I would get from people for years. And I had to reflect every time I'd reflect on how my body was moving or gestures or 
facial expressions or maybe your back being upright, you know, you sitting upright or your chest out. Not saying chest out bending on your chest, but just there's confidence there. Um, uh, maybe certain things you're not being more, uh, you know, kind of kind of uh, in charge, arms crossed up, not mm -hmm. being open. You know what I mean? Certain gestures that they'll uh, right. teach in school or just with life, you know, uh, but just more of being open, confident. I know with a lot of times when I talk, my hands are out. You know, it's showing the hands, showing trust. You know what I mean? Those kind of things like that. But yeah. you know, it it's go ahead, go ahead. No, no, that's you're you're right on target with all that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just some things that I know, like speaking, even publicly speaking to people, because like I didn't realize them, and Queen had to say, you know, she was like, David, you know, you're not a small guy, you know, and you you can be towering over people, not. Like, I would be, like, talking to people kind of hunched over, talking like, uh, you know, but just very, just confident, you know. And when someone has confidence, that can even be, like, two or three more feet to your height. So, you know, just those kind of things where, not where I had to tone it down because I, you know, uh, sometimes you can be a certain way and not really realize the, uh, your presence, let me put it like that, your, your presence or impact. Mm -hmm. You know, much like when some people maybe walk in the room and you're like, wow, you really light up the, you know, the, uh, you know, wham, you know, and then other people, they're kind of just, just sliding or, or slithering in, you know what I mean? Just yeah. kind of like, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. and um, so I, I think it's so powerful, um, you know, what you shared, you know, and um you know, talking about the body being adapted, uh, uh, adapting to trauma, how the body takes that on, and um, and how they move with that. You know, so it, it, yeah, I just think it's it's so like, man, you know, me reflecting because everything you shared, I wanted to make sure like a lot of times I reflect like, wow, where was I at then, or where am I at now with with this, and um, so I can really really just have more of a greater impact. Or certain things that I need to adjust and change for more uh, tact, tact with people. You know, because some people, you know, you, you know, some people, they're looking at, I didn't realize this. I'll be honest with you. I didn't know Dr. Carla. I didn't know a lot of people were scared. I didn't know. And I was like, well, what's going on with this fear? And, and, and some people have fear of other humans. And then some, you know, some got fear of other, other, other races and things like that, you know, and, and mm -hmm. folks say they're scared. And I'm like, I'm like, wow. You know, it was really fearful. And, and that fear might have been through, you know, lack of knowledge, uh, maybe uh, a traumatic experience, like you were speaking earlier about trauma that they might have had with somebody. And I was like, my gosh, I, I, we, we need to do something about this to, to bring more, you know, in, in my flow, what I'm learning more and more and more and more about, once degrees are giving, I feel like that's kind of like the beginning of the journey. Mm -hmm. Once you... You know, the first day, all right, Dr. Carla, you know, and when I say that, you know, some people might ask you, is it a medical doctor? Is it a medical? You know, but, it, you know, some people, they don't know, for those that view out there, that uh, dossier in Latin is meaning to teach, doctor that teaches. So there are teaching doctors, uh, you know, if you're, if it's Hebrew or Latin or Greek, but just those those teaching doctors and then there's those medical more of the standard of care medical you know md and, and there you go so mm -hmm. when i speak with different people and i say doctor you know a lot of times you know other people they'll you know maybe feel some type of way a lot of times people feel very uh, insecure i've uh i've spoken with not not saying you at all just various people that I've spoken with kind of just within their life and, and professionalism. I don't know if you ever heard this, but have you ever heard of, um, it's, it's called imposter syndrome. Yes. Have you heard of that? Yes, I have. You, can, do you know much about it or a little, a little tidbit? I know a few things about just, yeah. but can you speak to that regarding the success with a person and they feel like, can you, can you speak to that? please? Yeah. Well, I can speak to that in, uh, the sense of um, students that I've worked with uh, who are yeah. future counselors. Um, so in my experience, 
uh, as a supervisor um, with novice counselors, they um, that's something that is sort of a part of the natural development of um, becoming a counselor. And I, I, I can't speak to other professions and how others experience that, but I know that that's something that I see. Um, a lot of my students will, you know, come in to supervision sessions and say things like, you know, um, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure that I can really do this or, or what if they, you know, figure it out that I'm a fraud and I don't really know what I'm doing or, you know, it's that whole like, you know, cause it's a learning curve, you know, to yeah. work with people in the helping professions. I mean, as any profession. And so in the beginning of, in the beginning stages of someone's career, I think that it's very normal to have that sense of like, you know, cause you, you, you know, in many ways, like you, you're still learning what you're doing, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, it, it's uh, it's part of the process of your development, and then over time, you become more confident, and you uh, you know you feel like you do know what you're doing. And you know, of course, you know we never really um, our learning is never done. Um, we keep going, and all of that. So, yeah. So, so as far as just. What have been maybe some hero, I'll just say hero moments where you really, certain uh, clients, it could be one or two, because I, I know there's a few, it's probably more than one or two, I'm sure. But you have you have really helped and changed their life that really, I mean, from just front to back, back to front, the, the counseling and, and, and therapy sessions with you has really transformed their life. Are there some like really hero moments that, really stuck with you with certain clients that, I mean, unanimously, God call it, you, 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 you did that. Were there certain people that they had their life really turn around after your sessions and just counsel? Yeah. Um, well, uh, you know, I would say that I have seen a lot of people have success in their lives, but I wouldn't give the credit to me. Um, I, I mean, I feel like, you know, a person will change and have success the more ready they are. Um, I think that that is a, a determinant of whether or not someone succeeds in changing their life around. So, um, you know, I don't know that it's necessarily like, you know, that I should get all that credit or anything like that because, um, you know, um, it, as a therapist, you know, you, you can, um, you know, be guiding someone in certain ways and, you know, pulling out your best interventions. And, you know, if, if someone is not ready and they're resistant, then no matter what you do, it's not going to work. So, you know, I always like to give credit to my clients, like, you know, their readiness and their, their willingness, like that really, you know, it says a lot and, and it's what really ultimately moves them forward towards. And I have seen that I've seen a lot of people, um, I mean, being in the field for, 15, 16 years, um, I've benefited from being able to see a lot of people transform their lives and um, be successful. I've seen people recovering from addiction and, you know, um, going from homeless to, you know, having their own house. Um, I've seen people, uh, you know, um, who were in like violent relationships, um, you know, abusive relationships, get out and become advocates themselves for other individuals who experience uh, intimate partner violence. Um, so I've seen that. I mean, um, it's, a, it's a very rewarding, you know, field to be in. Um, but um, at the end of the day, you know, it's the person that changes themselves. Wonderful. You know, what was so like we'll even say half of the credit than that let's say let's say because i know you said the full credit you know <laughs> but let's well, let's go half credit my battery is uh, so i'm gonna plug my phone in okay yeah 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 go ahead yeah yeah plug it, just plug it. and look i made sure and i'm gonna say it twice but I think it was might have been an hour because I remember for years back in Chicago, I had to make sure I had makeup, everything 
nice and spiffy. Okay, so yeah, we had to go ahead get get everything going and, and, and smooth and voila. So you know, just putting that out there. I can't wait to get back when COVID nineteen is done and get back in studio because I used to not, oh, right. you know, <laughs> wear makeup. But once the whole TV stuff and then came to LA, didn't know that. I was like, yeah, it's time to start hitting that, hitting that mask, yeah, hitting that. I mean, the works, you know, and uh, start hitting up that makeup. Because I said, Carla better show up. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I hope she shows up because I got my makeup. I said, I did my makeup. <laughs> I said, I was in bed. I was like, I hope she shows up. I hope that goes on. I was like shaving everything down and just like moving everything. I got you know, I'm just putting everything yeah. going. You know, getting everything. I'm serious. I, you know, hey, I, I'm not ashamed. I told my mom, I said, yeah, let me get my teeth white and everything, make sure because I don't want to be looking crazy. I'm talking about, well, yeah, um, uh, we're on one of the networks of KTLA or something like that on Channel Three. Go ahead and see uh, Dr. David, and then we got. You know, uh, go ahead and see Doc Carl, and she came back from a year later and everything. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, we I'm looking bust, so we don't we don't want to look, you know? we want to we want a little fabulous, you know what I mean? Mm. And um, just also just really just have a fabulous attitude, mm. and you know it, it's so important. I've I've, I've taken away uh, just so much just within just what you've shared and. and even just the therapy of it, just sitting, speaking with you and just just really even preparing to sit and talk. And, and I always share with people for the past like 10 years, I, I would always say, you know, let's just walk on to the edge of this cliff and just go ahead and, you know, there's just leap out there because you're not just jumping out there yourself, but as well, I'm making sure to put myself out there and um, just really, I'm, I'm, there's a lot of growth happening, you know, a lot, a lot of growth. And uh, more on a understanding just all different walks of life a whole lot better. Yeah. You know, and how to be more um, just open and receiving and, and just, uh, and when I say receiving to that, just letting, uh, if you will, the term, uh, let that person be or the, the, just wherever they're at be. Just let them mm. be and being as they're, they're sharing however long it takes. And I mean, some people, honestly, it took, seven hours and they're talking i tell you you know back then it was it was you yeah. know you're sitting time you know time is precious <laughs> but so yeah you know they're sitting and talking and i know people might try to do that with you they find out you're a therapist you're a counselor oh they don't want to talk to you all they don't want to talk to you all because they, <laughs> right. they, they want right. to go ahead and get oh yeah uh what uh what do i do about this what about that oh you know i'm going through this or you know I, can i tell you about this now i don't know how you tactfully kind of slide out of the picture but uh, you know, or you just kind of say, "Oh well, you know, let me refer you." But I, but there's a lot of people that's hurting. Yeah, a lot of people that's hurting, and I'm 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 seeing I'm real. You know, speaking with you, I said, you know what? I've really realized even more. Like, just speaking with you for this one, I said, "My gosh, I I." It's kind of like more of the jigsaw pieces. Mm -hmm. we're, we're given, if that makes sense, uh, just with not just a few people in your life, but just more, more of more of a deeper purpose, even deeper mm -hmm. on the reason why and the how come. And then it just gives like glimpses of just that bright future that you desire for change. I know, I know for me, that's what I, I was mm -hmm. like, wow, that, yeah, I was like, that's good. Because for me, just, when people talk about it, like visual, like visually, I as they're talking, I'm envisioning the pictures or events or yeah. all those things you share. I'm envisioning that's just how I'm visual like that in, in my mind. You know, some people are more like a logic of numbers or like symbols. I'm, I'm I'll think of all type of stuff, but it's 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 very special. And, and yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what it is. yeah. It's it's very very special what you possess it's special it's really it like i'll say like precious like gold but really it's more more even deeper than than gold you know what you're sitting with people um even i know you shared you said standing strong you know i believe you were talking about standing firm or standing strong 
in the pos- the positioning of being, I think you were saying, supervisor, was that it? Well, um, was- uh, yeah, I think you're referring to when we were talking on the phone and I was talking about um, how you have to show up as a strong foundation for, you know, your students, like there's that, yeah. but also as a therapist for your clients, like, you know, with um, everything that's ha- happened in society uh, with COVID, you know, um, we all have our own personal reactions to that. And, you know, um, you know, we're as therapists, we're also human. So we might have our own anxiety about it, but we can't bring that into our sessions. We have to be the solid, like, you know, cause you know, yeah. and, and like I said earlier, as healers, like we're being called upon to help people in need. And so, um, you know, we have to show up for that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I just wanted to say, you know, you're doing a bang up amazing job, you know, and just as a human, you know, you, you, you really, you know, just some really awesome things are just, I can tell is interstellarly coming your way of uh, just, just life promotion, you know, life, not just, not just another work job day, but really some serious, just some some bricks like some strong bricks on on just adding some things you really want to build into and um just some solid bricks you know and Mm -hmm. and tools tools um you know you got a great set of tools and um some i can see that we shared with but there's a lot of tools that i can see that you really have in your tool bag that you can depending on who you're dealing with you know and and Mm -hmm. the time that you you have a lot in that you can you can work and do what you do what you do, you know. Um, so I just want to say, my gosh, you know, just keep just man, just this is it's been a, a very it's special, you know. Um, it's very very special, you know, because when I when I see people, I I, I see a lot of things past just what I'm looking at, just hair, face, you know, and just I say, you know what. That's that. That's all right. It's a. It's you're a very amazing, very beautiful, spirited person, and just, just the human being that you are in your being and and operating in society. And I just want to speak speak it and send it out there to you, where where you're at, you know, and just and I hope you can embrace all of it, just throughout your household, the living room, bathroom, your mind, body, soul, spirit, emotions you know, the inward chambers of your heart, those chambers on the inside of the heart, and really the inward ear, the outer ear, the other inward ear, all those different, you know, and all the billions of neurons that's in your mind that you are are really doing something that's really not only just needed, but it's really what you're doing, works of art, works Mm -hmm. of art you know, and you're putting like your, your DNA imprint kind of of just your, your therapy in the, in that person. And, and Hey, like you shared with me, we was able to share and connect and also able to um, uh, hear from what you shared uh, with me and not only with me for, for me, you know, with purpose and um, that I can really uh, uh, take that in and, and get, get even, even greater, better, just, you know, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just, thank you. I appreciate your yeah. words and, um, you know, it, that I, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. It's, yeah. it's been really great talking with you and, um, you know, uh, again, thank you for inviting me to your show today. Yeah, it's, it's good. I, you know, it, I was really looking forward to this because I said, you know, some, some of you can just tell you're like, oh, this is going to be Right. This is going to be good. Not just that it's a strike of a oh interview. No, 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 no. Real session, real, real. Because it's it's like this. I've seen it to where with COVID nineteen, we're just oh, it's you know, you're just okay, you're in the room. But things are very different with people when you're on some grand stage in front of hundreds or or or, or more people. It tend, it's a different energy, and when you're chosen to do something, and I I hope my desire and hope is um a, a year from now and less 
you know, see how COVID goes. And I, I know it's going to, how it came in, it's going to eventually dissipate, but life will never be the same. We'll try to, you know, people will say, well, it'll kind of get back normal. Things have, have it's been an adverse change, you know, uh, to the way we, we live life. But, you know, we hope to have you, when we do our show a whole lot larger, we hope to definitely just have you on the uh, a, a greater set, you know, out in out in LA and out in California, because it people like yourself, that's who needs to be seen. That what you're, well, how with with you being, and when I say spotlight chosen, some people I know modest or there's humility there, completely understand it, um, or meekness, totally need it, you know. But when you when you when you know. You have something that you need to get out and share, and um, these these uh, shows or people want to find what's on the inside of you because you have a strong answer, um, Dr. Carla. You have a, a strong answer, strong answer for people, and uh, you've brought a strong life changing answer for me, answers uh, for me and and, and Queen, um, you know, and just everything I'm doing, you know, and just really. A strong ad was uh, given and birthed in my mind, so I hope that I hope that kind of helps. Yeah, and um, yeah, yeah, it's good. Any anything else before you go that you would just like to thank or or say or share or just oh my gosh, you yeah, just you're no, just I'm, it, it's been great, and um, yeah, I I definitely um, you know would love to continue to support you and what you're doing, and that sounds great to you know go um go live and in, in in person at some point in the future i would i would love to do that um uh yeah and just again you know i i really think you're doing great um something great here um you know i i um i really do so yeah thank you you are you are so welcome and, and look oh we'll, we'll we'll do the uh yeah well once we'll i get, yeah well yeah wonderful uh, so I just want to say thank, thank everyone for that that join view and when we I'll put it on YouTube and do some other it's it's mm -hmm. you know add some other things like that but um, you know just to make this a very very wonderful session and healing and then two in the days ahead Carla to really implement dance therapy on stage or even the lives but on stage with production in the months ahead to where there will be like dance movement therapy like you know more of that visual you know once the whole social distancing thing but some real serious things we're working on getting moving forward within practice of, a, of this um, TV program that's going to be moving more into that but just the practice and intervention and the modes of it with healing holistically and um, there's a lot of things that I've been sitting doing researching so much. I mean, a, a lot of just absorbing, just absorbing a lot of information and just getting things ready uh, for the next level of, a, of, of an amazing people. And, and I just said, my gosh, I, I, I desire, I said, you know, I need some strong team of world people mm -hmm. to just like send, I mean, depending on how it is, I know everyone's life is different what the practices are, but just to really change so many lives not just not just only la but really really globally and that's why i've really taken towards the uh, programming hosting but now i had to connect more with uh nutritional health and wellness and, and, and diet therapy and things like that and now coming with with nutritional natural health and the whole you know healing a practitioner and the doctrine in this and do another doctrine in that and finish this with these sort of things so all that, you know, so hope your phone's not dying, <laughs> you know, because I know you were yeah. charging. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to get going here um, in a minute. Here, Great. So. So, I'll, so I'll let you go. Thank you for being on For Healing with Dr. David Render. This is Dr. Carla, the, the PhD, the MA, the, what was it, L LPCC, is that it? Was that the LPCC and the... Uh, yeah, so it's just the license changes from state to state, so I'm like licensed professional clinical counselor in other states but here they just have like the licensed professional counselor so 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's so that's it. So we, she's good to go. She's licensed. She's legal. I don't want to say nothing to get in trouble or nothing like that. So <laughs> right, you, right. you know what I'm saying? Because look, you yeah. know how people are. They're like, what was that exactly you said? You know. So yeah, totally legal. Totally fine. It's good. So thank you so much. Thank you. And, and have a wonderful evening. Thanks for just being on the show, sitting down, connecting with this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful healing session. Great. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right.